probably heard all the mainstream media wants you to know about the Batman movie massacre. Twelve people are dead and at least 58 others wounded after 24-year-old James Holmes allegedly opened fire in an Aurora, Colorado movie theater just a few minutes after the start of the midnight showing of The Dark Knight Rises early Friday. But there are three secrets that aren't getting much coverage. The first is a possible case of false flag terrorism, which Wikipedia defines as covert operations designed to deceive in such a way that the operations appear as though they are being carried out by other entities. No one seems to be able to figure out how an unemployed medical student got an estimated $20,000 worth of military gear. Is it only a coincidence that this happened just as Barack Obama is getting ready to sign the UN Small Arms Treaty, threatening our Second Amendment rights? Maybe someone's playing mind games to get us to want to give up our guns. An unarmed citizenry is no threat to a terrorist government. If all this seems far out, look at this Department of Homeland Security announcement released on May 17th, warning the terrorists may seek to copycat overseas attacks at theaters. It never received widespread notice and was withdrawn. Now for the embarrassing secret Warner Brothers does not want you to know. The studio had asked theaters to play a trailer for Gangster Squad during the Batman film's opening weekend. The trailer showed a gangster with a machine gun shooting people in a movie theater. According to the reporter who broke the story, Nikki Fink of Deadline Hollywood, the trailer was not supposedly paired with the actual Batman movie. Could this also be part of a public manipulation plot? Here's another interesting secret. Cinemark Holdings, which owns the Century Aurora 16 movie theater where the Friday morning shooting occurred, has a policy which prevented a quick response that could have ended the shooting spree. Zero tolerance for handguns, even for customers with concealed carry permits. Here's the connection. Three months earlier and five miles away, a similar incident began at a church, New Destiny Christian Center. The pastor's mother was shot and killed, but this time a citizen, who was also an off-duty police officer, happened to have brought his concealed handgun into the service. He fatally shot the gunman and prevented a possible massacre. As the boy Wonder would have said, Holy shootout, Batman! But let's remember, if just one of the innocent moviegoers had been allowed to bring a gun into the theater, whether an off-duty officer or not, the death toll would have been much smaller. Maybe the manager of Century Aurora 16 and the American public should be asking, what would Batman do?